Second technology, very important. L amino acids. Anybody, uh, you guys familiar with L aminos versus regular aminos? You heard this before? Very important distinction, and it's really stupid, and if you read it, you're some of the smartest scientists in the world, they don't even understand it all the way yet. But there's two kinds of, of amino acids. There's a bunch of different types of aminos, but there's two formats. There's left turning and right turning, or right hand to left hand, or whatever you want to call it. And essentially, it's like this. The molecule looks exactly the same like your hands. Same tendons, muscles, structure, blood vessels, everything's identical. However, you couldn't put a right-handed glove onto your left hand, right? That's the only difference between L and R, or D amino acids. But what's interesting is nature, at some point, way back when life formed, decided that we're going to use the left-handed variety. And science still is baffled by this. I have no idea why. But there exist in nature both forms of amino acids. But nature only uses that L amino. If you create an amino through some sort of a synthetic process, which a lot of amino acid products, I don't know what the processes are, but if it's synthetic in any way and not organic, you create the right-handed variety. You use an organic method, which happens out in the soil through like enzymatic hydrolyzation, you get the left-handed variety. So you have to have that kind. So if you're feeding the wrong kind of aminos, again, bioavailability, plant goes, I don't know what to do with this. And eventually, over time, nature converts it, bacteria convert those rights to the lefts, and it will eventually take it up. But we're indoor gardening for the most part. We're talking about, I want some results right now. My plants need this food now. Amino acids are responsible for everything that life does. Building blocks from structural components, hormonal components, immune system response, <coughs> synthesis of vitamins and proteins and carbohydrates and everything. Amino acids, yeah, you don't have them, you don't have life, period. And they haven't been talked about a lot in in our industry until really recent years. And a lot of that is because of the pioneering research that went into Apt just six years ago in Holland. Um, but they are absolutely critical. And we, we use it as the basis of our nutrition to make sure that we get plenty of aminos available. Some are synthesized in the plant, just like in our bodies, but some of them you have to get from an external source. So if we want to optimize that plant health, we want to make sure we keep that good constant supply of good quality amino acids always in the soil, so that the plant, or even on the leaf tissue, because uh, aminos can be absorbed through the leaves, greatest foliar feeds, um, to keep that. Now, one of the things that aminos does that's really key is chelating. Anybody not know what chelating is? You guys all? A couple of you? Okay, so we'll explain this. Okay, a chelate is basically for a, a plant can't take iron up into its system, these micro elements and stuff. It just can't absorb it. It has to first be chelated by something. And chelate in Latin, the term means claw. And it's a molecule that is shaped like a claw. And it literally grabs an iron ion, and it surrounds it and hides it from the plant. So when the plant says, gosh, I'm really hungry, I'm looking for food, looks into the soil, and it sees an amino acid, it says, okay, I'll take that. So it pulls the amino acid in, the amino acid is dissolved by the plant, and that iron molecule is now available for the plant to utilize. And that's, every, everything has to be basically, key, oh, not everything, but most everything has to be chelated in a certain manner in order for the plants to take it up. There's a couple exceptions. Um, you can use, there's a lot of chelates. If you pull a lot of these bottles off, particularly like salt-based nutrients, you'll see, like if you're seeing iron EDTA or DPTA on the back of bottles, those letters are a synthetic chelate. Does the same thing as amino acids, but it's not as good. In fact, some of them, like EDTA, is very, it's known for being very strong. It holds on, it's a very uh, high charge molecule. So it holds on to that iron really strongly. The problem is with that, it gets into the plant and it won't let it go. And so we have deficiency still. If it does let it go, it has a tendency to, on its way out, to grab onto another iron molecule or another molecule altogether and take it out of the planet. And so the, the best chelator on the planet, you, know, you do as much research as you want. There's a lot of different thoughts on it. Amino acids, it always comes back to that. That's because that's what nature chose. Plants best recognize those. They're the most efficient. Plus, once they're in the plant, they can be used. A lot of the synthetics can't be used. It's kind of like, you know, we, we have uh, heavy metal deposits, you know, there's a lot of talk about this right now. Our water has a lot of heavy metal, and this stuff gets into our bodies, and our bodies can't metabolize it. So it sticks around our body and starts causing all sorts of problems. It settles into our fat tissue and makes us sick and causes cancer and stuff. Same kind of concept with our plants. We put these synthetics into it, and we start causing unknown problems. We don't want these foreign substances in our plant. Amino acids are the absolute best. So, you chelate all your major minerals, all your minor mineral, micronutrients, all with amino acids, and you get that better uptake and better utilization of the aminos. The coolest thing about it is that you need far less. If you're using synthetics, you've got to feed so much more because not all of it is even used by the plant. A lot of it just floats around within the plant tissue, and those stuck in those claws, 
can't get released. Use the amino to use 100%. It means you can cut your costs and you can stop feeding so much. And um, so it's a very, very important technology. The way nature does it the best, gotta have that.